whatever the case may be. So it is what it is, folks. Now, now yeah. Charles got a good yeah. idea. I definitely would like. I, I would love. I would love to do a new jack. I, man, I, that was my favorite shit. I don't give a damn. Man, okay. man, forget about a guy. All that man. All the dancing and Come shit. On. Kid and play that whole era, man. House Come party on, man. to this day. House party puts a smile on my face every time it pops up on TV, man. I just remember that was my favorite time of my life, dude. But look at how uh, I'm gonna, let me tell you something. Look at house party. Look at all the color, all the love, the funniness. And right behind that came Boys in the Hood. Everything was like like the whole world was black and white. The only now un understand, look at house party the movie versus Boys in the Hood. Okay. And this is how the streets change that this that just that fast from boys in the hood i mean from the house party and eve at house party was eve after dark okay we was getting we was we was balling having a good time everybody doing their thing blah 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 all of a sudden the world went to uh turned into boys in the hood and it wasn't no more fun okay and i had one club that experienced both of those transitions in my uh, Rain as the general manager, but Eve After Dark was was house party. By the time I went back to Eve After Dark in the late in the mid eighties and brought it back as uh, Studio East, that motherfucker was boys in the hood. I couldn't even wear a suit to work though. I had to wear jeans and tennis shoes. That's no bullshit. It's no bullshit. When I first opened the Eve, me and Unknown would go shopping every week. Everybody came to the Eve, came clean. My girl Sean is on the damn on the feed right now. She lived right the. Like, they're right behind the corner. She was a regular down there. And she'll tell you, we had a hell of a good time. It was a bomb-ass spot, okay? Everybody was clean at the Eve. Girls got their hair done. That should be sweated out by the time you leave that motherfucker. But it was a good-ass time, okay? When I came back in the 90s, after we did some, I did some tours, it was during the, during the, uh, right, during the crack era. Man, I, had, I, could no, I could no longer wear hard sole shoes to work. I had to wear tennis shoes, jeans, and a sweatshirt because me and my guards spent the whole night patrolling the floor to keep folks from fighting. It changed over this, that, just that much. Okay, it was no longer. And I told the old man, "I'm dude, I, I, can't, I don't want to do this no more." It was no longer fun, dude. It was no longer fun. If I felt like a, I felt like a prison guard, used to be at the eve. I could sit in my office and, and entertain most of the night, walk around, have a good time, have people come through. Man, I couldn't talk to nobody but security guards when I got back to the Eve. The streets had changed this that much. Great. And, okay. No, go ahead. Uh, we could we could say uh, gangster rap had a lot to do with that. Were there other elements just in the world, in the country, in the city, in the state that was going on that that contributed to that? Because we can't really blame it all on music, can we? Crack. Yeah. Crack. Crack and gangs. I think crack. In, increase gangs to a point where we always had gangs, but when they got money and they had to fight for territory, and we, when we came about money and territory, that's when it got real deadly. Okay, and um, then um, crack also caused a lot of disrespect in the community. A lot of disrespect because I mean, in my neighborhood, when I first my, me and my sister were talking about this not, not long ago. In my neighborhood on Carlton Avenue, everybody had a two-family household. There was a mama and daddy on every in every house on that block. The mamas would be out there running running shit. Pops be cutting the line, talking, drinking and shit. They they help each other out. It was a community, dude. And then shortly after that, older some of the dudes start dying. People start moving out. And we got a different vibe for the community, and it became. Uh, and when crack came in there, shit that a forty-one-year-old mama, my my forty-year-old mama would not do, somebody else's forty-one mama would do, and a lot of people started, a lot of women, a lot of people, not just women, started doing shit for crack, that made the community made the youngsters disrespect the whole generation. Because if you got somebody's auntie or somebody's mama that you can get, you know, sexual favors from from a hit a hit a crack, first of all, you ain't gonna you're not gonna respect her because she a crackhead and she did some shit. And then 
the son or the kids are gonna feel bad because their mama's getting, you know, getting tossed up by the homies, or the daddy's doing some breaking in cars, whatever the case may be. So you got a whole level of disrespect. So you got a, a generation coming up that don't learn, that, that did, never learn to respect the adults because the adults, some of them, a lot of them, got on that shit and just became a pariah in the community. Meanwhile, I got to fight for myself. I got to take care of my sisters and brothers because my mom and them is out there doing this shit. It's all fucked up, man. It just fucked up everything, dude. Meanwhile, I got I'm getting shot at I'm getting shot at on a nightly basis. Yeah. Fuck that. So there yeah. You got a few more minutes, man. Um, what's coming up on uh, this week with uh, Dr. Dre and what what else is going on in Lonzo's world right now? Man, um, I'm working on I'm working on some shit. I'm trying to get some uh some love for Easy E and City of Compton for the chamber right now. So that's what I'm working on right now. Don't want to go into no details. I just started this just started this quest today. I had one plan, it fell through. I'm working on plan B right now. And uh uh that's probably the biggest thing, getting ready for the holidays in uh 2023. And uh shit, man, that's about it. Me and Dre, I talked to Dre earlier. His birthday was Monday. Happy belated, happy belated birthday to you, Dre. He's um he celebrated a birthday. Uh who was that? Who was that? R.I.P. Mills Lane and Kirstie Alley. Kirstie Alley, yeah, uh, uh, recognize her. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Look who's talking what? cheers. She was one of my cougar crushes when I was a kid. I can't even lie. What are you like, telling? At, at Green Eye, Kirstie Kirstie Alley was fire. Man, she was fire like a son of a gun. Uh, and I like and Mills Lane, I love that dude because he was the most fairest cat when it came to boxing. He 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 had a certain kind of integrity That's about right. him. right. Oh, shit, I just realized he was the referee. He was the referee for all the big fights the back in the white day, dude. dude. Oh, man. Oh, that's that's oh, shit. Man. And then they put in uh, Richard Steele, and that's when the shit jumped off. When Richard Steele came into the game, oh, shit. We got a, what, a technical draw. What the fuck is that? Okay. Oh, he came over. When, when Richard Steele was the referee, you can bet it was going to be some bullshit. Fuck the fight. It's going to bet on the bullshit because it's coming down. Okay. People getting counted out. Nigga, I'm still here right here. Why can't get counted out? <laughs> I can still fight. <laughs> uh, he, he can fight in a minute. Okay? So, yeah, uh, it's crazy, folks. It's real crazy. R.I.P. to yeah. those, man. Tell everybody you love, man. Tell everybody you love that you love them because I've been hearing R.I.P. way too much for my liking lately. And, chat, you know, I know the older you get. Chat room, much love for y'all. Yeah, room, shout everybody. out to you spend time with us. The time is a, is a precious commodity. You can't get back to. Me. You spend an hour with me. To me, that's a million dollars, baby. That's a million dollars. Thanks, man. Thank you, Lonzo. Appreciate it. Always love hanging out with you. And shout out to the chat, like you said. And please, before you guys bounce, make sure you hit that like button. If this is your first time checking us out and you enjoyed what you heard, hit that subscribe button. And once more, please check out Dusty Vision TV. That's my channel, Dusty Vision TV on YouTube. Thank you so much. Also, RIP to uh, Ma Ma Mariah Carey because I Irene Irene Cara had a crush on her too, boy. Oh man, one of my first ones. All right, folks, we out of here, y'all. See y'all next week. God willing.